One of the most bizarre theories out there is that planet Earth was once populated by a race of giants. Giant people, giant creatures, the stuff of grim fairy tales. The theory has many followers, not least a YouTube channel with almost 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Tin Ford Tuesday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Yes, today we enrol ourselves in mud fossil universities where common sense knows no boundaries. Specifically, we're going to be taking a look at the evidence that these giants were not only on the earth, but also inside it. You really do need face palm protection for this one, folks. Roll the tape, but I do warn, Proceed with caution. Okay, my good friends, Roger once again, Mud Fossil University. And today, you see this right here? This is the stuff that anchors things. Now, this, I'm not sure what it was above here, but I'm going to show you some dragon scales that are above, and then they're anchored like this, and then the flesh would have come up and, and locked in here. As you can see, Roger wastes no time at all in letting us all know about dragons. And then the dragon scales stick up. We're going to take a look at that now. Okay, you dudes. It's Roger. Mud Fossil University. What you're looking here is the tail of a dragon. Now, you say, oh, Roger, how are you going to say that? Well, here's how I could say it. You see these little fluty looking things that are coming down off of the scales themselves? That is like the tendinous material. I will show it to you. And coming up to that would have been bones. Clearly what's on the screen here are a row of ancient or medieval structures, man-made of course, and Roger expects us to think that they are all of dragon origin? How? That had some form of a a hinging sort of effect there that would like a glue. I, I show a lot of times I call it um, uh, abrupt transition glue. And that's what it is. Between certain materials and then flesh and bone, you have what they call abrupt transitions. And I've shown them many, many times. Right. Makes perfect sense. Um, quick question. Is your evidence for this literally a photo? And that would be right in here, and that has eroded away and left. You see this? There's a hole. That's a hole right through there. Now, this guy thinks it's a wall, not a wall. These are different looking size scales, and they're go going down smaller and smaller and smaller, up to bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, I don't know where this is, but I am pretty damn sure that that is a dragon. You're pretty damn sure that's a dragon, aren't you? Another quick question. If a dragon wasn't invented as a mythical creature, then what would you be calling it? And I see these kind of things here. Now, was, was that up here further? I don't know. I don't have enough information about this. But that's enough to tell me that this is almost certainly was a dragon. That is not from some form of uh, wall. If you thought that was a stretch, wait for this one. Now, something you have to understand, when you see water coming off the top of something like this, it just doesn't fall out of the sky. True, there's a river on top. In this case, the Chiron, because that is Angel Falls in Venezuela. There, this is, is it literally biology, which was originally fed with blood coming up here. It's broken. These are the arteries, and where the groundwater is pressurized in the wet seasons, it shoots up through the arteries and just cascades down. Um, this photo clearly shows the river above. It's well known, Roger. And that anytime you see it coming out of there, what that was was an artery. It really wasn't. I'm showing as this as tendon teeth, like coming down and locking into the bone. I have a, a, a big fingertip here. Here it is. I have like the same thing. You see it over here? That's where the ten that's a tendon ball locked in. This is a gigantic fingertip. You see up in here? This that's the skin, but that's the tendon ball. You see the little 
spikes. Right, and how big was this finger? Okay, you see this? This is um, tendon and it's locking into a tibia. Okay, this is the, like, I think they call it interdigitation. Inter, yeah, interdigitation, where this is the same sort of stuff as we're seeing on those ten. I mean, on those um, scales, those dragon scales that stick up above, and they lock down in this, like into a bone, and then the bone would have had the the flesh coming around it this way because they were stuck up straight in the air. This is a different situation, but very, you know, there's no not a whole big difference. You have a bony structure and then these fibers that were coming down in the other one, they would lock into a bony structure that would be underneath here and they'd insert into it. And uh... Right, so because those tendon fibers look a little bit similar to the markings on those rocks before, that automatically makes those rocks bones. Seriously, I've heard of tenuous links before, but this just takes the biscuit. Well, let me show you a couple other things. All right, this is, um, this is actually a fingertip, but that's how these things lock in with these teeth. They just grab right in there. It came up through here. A strap came right in up through there, and that's the ball that locked in. This is all eroded out, which would have been the flesh that it locked into. And these holes are where blood fed all that tissue layer that was in there. The human imagination is a wondrous thing, isn't it? Gives you an idea how small you are, doesn't it? That over there is where it would have gone into the bone. This up here led up to some kind of muscle. This is muscle. That would have gone back and locked into a bone somewhere over here. I have, well, here, I have one right over here. I can show you very similar. Right, you should be able to see the, the, the muscle fibers in this. I mean, don't run up like they did in the other one. That looks very much like sedimentary rock to me, but what do I know? But then you see this red layer? That's the blood layer. Watch. You see it right there? See that blood layer? These, in certain places, they'll have a real thick, dense layer of blood, and then they have a bunch of tissue that obviously feeds off that blood. And this is all muscle. And then down below, they have another layer of blood. That's uh, that whole thick thing there. That thickness right there is blood. <laughs> That's all blood, solid mat of blood. How on earth can you make that link? I mean, seriously. So they have muscle, blood, muscle, blood. Blood, muscle, blood. That's the way it works. And that's how they get their nutrition out of there. Of course, in us, they're maybe this thick. I don't know how, how thick this thing was in totality, because obviously, the blood layer broke off of whatever was above it. Oh yeah, obviously. Big creatures. Very big creatures. You see the red blood? There's little bits and spots of red blood every here and there. And that's what feeds that muscle. And at some point it would get redder than red. See, just like mine. It's starting to, it, you know, as it feeds off of the edge, where it comes out of the muscle, I mean out of the bone, it's really tight. And I show this in some shots, on, I have ones to show it. It comes out real tight and then they come out like this. And then they spread wider and wider, well you can see it. And then they have all the blood vessels start to show up in them and then they get the thickness of the blood cakes around where you're doing the most work is what it boils down to, where the biceps are or whatever the big chunky part is. Wow. It's not very often that I am left speechless, but Mud Fossil University, you have done it. I do apologize when I say this, but you absolutely have the right to post this video, but equally, I absolutely have the right to tell you and everyone else that it's complete nonsense. People, please do not listen to this man. Right, well, there we go. What a tinfoil Tuesday that was. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, then please, please do like and subscribe. I've been Simon and Dan. Have yourselves a great day, and I'll see you all tomorrow for some physics. See you then. <laughs>